Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to check the engine coolant level on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. And this should be the same process for the Toyota Corolla years 2003 to 2008 and a very similar process for all Toyota Corollas. And just refer to your owner's manual for the specific information for your vehicle. And whenever you're working with vehicles, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this job, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles and make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, let me show you the next thing that we do to check the engine coolant level. All right, so this is the overflow tank for the engine coolant, and on the back side of the overflow tank um, is where we can check the level of the engine coolant. Uh, but before you ever do anything with the engine coolant, you want to make sure that your vehicle is all the way cooled down. Um, you do not want to open these caps while your vehicle is hot because it will explode all over the place and is incredibly dangerous. So you need to make sure that your vehicle is all the way cooled down before you do anything with the engine coolant, including checking the engine coolant level. Um, so let's take a look at the back of the engine coolant overflow tank and I'll show you how we check the engine coolant level. Okay, so here's the back of the engine coolant overflow tank and if you notice, there's two lines. Uh, there's one towards the bottom that says low and then there's one towards the top that says full. And if you want to check this when your engine is all the way cooled down. And if your engine coolant level is between the low and the full, um, then the engine coolant level is okay. But if it's at the low or below, then you do need to add engine coolant and you wanna make sure that you add the uh, correct type of engine coolant. And you just visually inspect it and you can see that the pink antifreeze there is in between the low and the full. So uh, for my 2006 Toyota Corolla, the engine coolant level is okay. So let's go take a look at the owner's manual now for my 2006 Toyota Corolla. All right, so here's the owner's manual for my 2006 Toyota Corolla, and this tells me the information that I need to know to check the engine coolant level, and it continues on to this page here. And just make sure that you read through your owner's manual for your vehicle for the specifics of how to check the engine coolant level. It will tell you the information that you need to know to check the engine coolant level both safely and properly. Okay, so let's take a look at the engine coolant that Toyota recommends for my 2006 Toyota Corolla. All right, guys, so this is the antifreeze here that Toyota recommends for my 2006 Toyota Corolla. And, um, you know, this is the 50-50 pre-diluted, so you don't have to add water to it. It's super long life antifreeze coolant, um, and it's pink in color, which is the antifreeze color that my 2006 Toyota Corolla came with. Um, you know, and I've always used this antifreeze for my vehicle. So... And I've always had to buy this antifreeze from the Toyota dealership. This is the Toyota brand antifreeze. And so um, I have seen it online before through resellers, but for me, it's always just been easier to go purchase it from the dealership. All right, so if you did need to add antifreeze, you wanna make sure that you add the correct antifreeze for your vehicle, and you wanna make sure that your vehicle's all the way cooled down. You don't ever wanna open the radiator cap or the engine coolant uh, overflow tank cap unless your vehicle is all the way cooled down. So once your vehicle is all the way cooled down and you're wearing the proper safety equipment, in this case, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles, um, you can open the cap to the engine coolant overflow tank. Um, and this just comes right off. It just snaps right off pretty easy there, as you can see. And then you'll want to use a funnel because when you do add uh, the antifreeze, you don't want to make a mess all over the place. And you just want to add a little bit at a time, um, you know, for multiple reasons. You don't want this to overflow out of the funnel. So you just want to add a little bit of a a little bit at a time. And as you go, you want to just continue to check um, the engine coolant level on the back of the overflow tank until you get it uh, up to the full line. Okay, and then when you're all done, you can remove the funnel and then um, put the cap for the engine coolant overflow tank back on and just make sure that that snaps into place all the way. 
All right, guys, well, that was it for this video, and hopefully this video was helpful. And something to keep in mind, if you're continually having to add antifreeze to your vehicle, then you most likely have a leak somewhere, and that is something that you're going to want to get taken care of because, um, you know, having low antifreeze or leaking antifreeze can cause your engine to overheat, which can cause damage to your engine, which you definitely don't want because then that's added, uh, you know, expense and repair bills to your vehicle. So, um, Thank you guys again for watching and please like, subscribe and comment and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.